Hi all, it's Chuck here from Alaskan Ballistics. I'm showing you my Remington 700 ADL. Having some problems with this gun. First of all, when I grip it, the bolt comes back and hits me right in my trigger finger, the way the knuckle and the bolt is designed. I don't know if Remington changed the angle or not. Alright, there's the round I shot at the cantaloupe. Alright, and milk jugs, water jugs. So we're going to do something about that. I'm having another problem. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate it for you here. Um, it's not feeding very well. Sometimes the rounds get stuck. So there it is. It's a great gun. It shoots 3 8 of an inch at 100 yards. 24 inch barrel. But we're going to have to do something about it here. Alright. So what are we going to do about it? We're going to take my ADL and make it a detachable magazine nice looking Tactical 700 yes Tactical alright so I'm going to try to demonstrate the feeding issues I've been having with this 700 alright so I'm gonna stick three rounds in it Here we go. It's very slow right there to push the round up. Can't hardly do it. Alright, that's not good. The next one goes in. Sometimes they go in great, sometimes they don't. See, it totally missed the next one. Totally missed it the first time. Alright. And it was all the way back. So, what are we going to do about this problem? Fortunately, Magpul makes something for this. Alright, so we're going to look at the 700L Hunter Stock from Magpul. We'll also be looking at the Magwell and Magazine extension uh, for the Magpul Stock. Um, you have to buy this with Magpul Stock, it only works with the Magpul Stock. So we're going to actually turn this 700 ADL into a 700 BDM or det detachable box magazine. All right. So let's get to work. All right. We're going to start by taking off the old stock, which is simply this screw here. All right. That one comes out. Save it up here above the gun. Then we're going to do this screw here. There we go. And then we have one final screw. Let's see, is it that size? Nope, must be this one. There we go. And we're going to take that screw out right there. Alright, now we can just simply take the action out of the stock. Alright, so there's that. Now next, we have to remove the box magazine, internal box magazine. This just rests on the bottom plastic of the stock. So, there's a little tiny screw right here. That screws that in. There we go broke all right and there we go so you won't need these parts you won't need the tiny screw that holds in your uh, box spring you won't need the magazine chamber case here you won't need the spring or the follower and you won't need the the skinnier of the screws in the trigger guard so understand all those parts we won't need you'll need to keep those two screws and pins all right. 
Let's get the Magpul stock out. All right, showing you the Magpul stock here. Just kind of zoom around and show it to you. It's got a real high rate of comb and nice butt pad back here. And it's nice and vented on the front. All right, beautiful stock. All right, I went with flat dark earth color. I uh, really wanted OD green, but Sportsman's Warehouse doesn't carry OD green. And it, Midway is more expensive, and plus the cost of shipping to Alaska is a little bit, little bit rough sometimes. So um, we went with this instead. We went with the flat dark earth. And even though we're not in the middle of Arizona, we're in Alaska, it should still fairly blend in. Maybe some paint. You guys can follow this on the channel. Uh, we'll figure this out. Here is the Magwell that accepts Magpul detachable magazines. These are five round box magazines that Magpul does sell. All right, it's nice to have a Magnum that has five rounds in it instead of only three. All right, all right, and it has this nice little paddle to take them out right here. All right, so very simply, we're gonna put the action in there. Now what thing you get advantage with the Magpul stock is you get this full aluminum bedding block which you don't have with a cheap plastic box, uh, stock on a uh, Black Friday special. All right, you have this whole aluminum bedding block here. So that should make this gun that's already shooting 3 eighths of an inch for me sometimes when I do my part. It should make it even more accurate and more consistent. Okay, maybe a little bit more forgiving for me. So that's one advantage to the Magpul stock in addition to allowing the magazine feed. So we're going to set that in there, All right? And then we're just going to do the opposite. We're going to put this in here. All right. One thing I like is it's a little thicker back here, so the bolt doesn't go all the way up and interfere with the action like it can on the plastic stock. So here, here we go. Set this to tighten. Now here we go. Set the Titan right head in it. Yeah, there we go. Might have to have the action lined up a little better there. Now, there is a set torque for these. I don't have a torque, inch pound torque thing yet. I should, but I haven't spent the money on that yet. So I'm just gonna snug it up and I'll have somebody double check it for me. There we go. Like that one up. Snug this one up. All right. And insert the magazine. Everything snug. There we go. All right, now we have a functioning detachable mag, seven millimeter rim mag. And it is just a cool one, here you go. I got five rounds of uh, Nosler partitions right here. Show you how much smoother it feeds. These also go in really, really well. They just are really smooth about going in. go positive feeding no interference of any kind all right I'll try it again with the barns ammo that I hunt with 
All right, here we go. We got the Barnes ammo. There we go. You can see much smoother, much better. The gun looks better. We'll take it to the range and we'll shoot it some, see how it does. Hi all, Chuck here again from Alaskan Ballistics. Shooting my Remington 700. Uh, it was an ADL, now I've got the Magpul stock on it, all right, and it's got the detachable magazines. So we are gonna be shooting at 100 yards for accuracy. We're gonna be shooting some Precision Hunter, some Noslers, some Winchester 150 grain power points, and some Barnes. Barnes has been uh, my hunting load, and believe it or not, the 150 grain Nos, uh, 150 grain seven millimeter rim mags have been my um, uh, most accurate load, even over the Nosler, and I haven't tested the Precision Hunter yet. So let me get these out of the way, and we'll start shooting. We're going to have three rounds in the top left target of Winchester PowerPoint. That one is just above the second shot, which should be about an inch group. All right, not bad for the first time. Me a little unfamiliar. I did have a limb saver on the other stock. I'm gonna take that off to see if I can put it on this one. This one doesn't quite absorb the recoil of the seven mag as good as that one does. All right, next up we have the Barnes 160 grain TSX. This is my hunting load. We'll see how it does here. right down in the bottom right hand corner so my zero is off but my group seems to be tightening up a little bit All right they're slightly off the paper I'm gonna move my uh, sights up and do it again we're about probably about three inches low Probably just a little bit right, so one, two, three, four, one inch right. Mosquitoes, they're the state bird in Alaska. That was a small one. Yeah, we're gonna shoot those barns 160 grainers again. Three more shots after the 
just a target. Stack it on top of the second one. Not my tightest group ever. The groups actually are opening up just a hair with this stock on there. Surprising. All right, next up we got the Nosler uh, Trophy Grade uh, Long Range Acubons. All right, and these are supposed to be going 2880. And I've tested them in the chronograph. I hadn't made a video yet, but they're right around in there, give or take a few. So oh, here we go. Bottom right target. And finally, the Precision Hunter from Hornady. Got high hopes for this stuff. We'll see what it does. Bottom left target. This is the first group. This is the Winchester PowerPoint. I pulled it a little bit today. Looks like edge to edge. It's an inch and a sixteenth. And that edge might be an inch and a half. Center to center, it's right on an inch. Alright, which is how most people measure center to center, but how can you tell? Alright. Sorry, here is my group at the barns. The first group. Also right at about an inch. Alright, I'm having a little bit, of, I'm flinching more because I don't have that limb saver on there, but it's me. Gun shoot get her shooting cable. Here's the second group of the barns right at an inch. Alright, two stacked on top of each other. Here is the Nosler Long Range Acubon. See right there. Edge to edge. Hold, it. Hold this thing steadier here. Edge to edge. You know, edge to edge is about an inch and a quarter. You know, center to center, about an inch and an eighth. You can see that there. It's not bad. It's still a very good group. And finally, we have the Hornady uh, 
Precision Hunter. And I'm getting edge to edge, an inch and three eighths. All right, center to center, an inch and an eighth. So that those two are under an inch. All right, last video on the new Magpul stock. The groups did open up a little bit. I was shooting a little faster than I normally do too. It might have been me flinching a little bit more on my limb saver. Uh, I really like the feed and function of the magazine system. It's a big plus. I like the fact that the bolt's not hitting me in the finger. But I don't like that you hit the bolt takeout button and you can't do it. It hits the Magpul stock here. That's a big, big flaw when it comes to their Magnum stock for them. You can't even pull it up and over. Uh, so you're going to have to clean it with the bolt in it and you know do your best to get inside here uh, as best you can so if you drop it get dirt in it in there or anything you're gonna have a hard time getting that out without taking the gun out of the stock which every time you take it out of the stock you should re-zero it so just that barrels warmed up not gonna do any more shooting with it today uh, I've got the chronograph videos up for three of those types of ammo so make sure you check those out as well all right and Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics enjoying what is basically a brand new rifle. All right, overall, overall 3.7 out of five stars. Overall, overall, this is a problem. All right, and it opened up my groups just a little bit, but it might be me, but other than that, awesome, awesome. All right, God bless. Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics, see you at the range. So this is Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics talking about my Remington 700 again just took it to the range and told you about the problem with the bolt when you try to take it out hitting the stock so all right I just got off the phone with Magpul and they said that they would send me a smaller cheek riser I actually like this cheek riser so I really appreciate the effort but that is good customer service and I am proud about that they also said there's an adapter for the uh, original butt plate so I can put my um, uh, limb saver on this uh, stock and have my limb saver on there instead of this recoil pad. Alright, so that only costs 10 bucks and a few dollars with shipping. They're shipping it to Alaska. That's not bad for a few dollars of shipping. Alright, so I've got my nice stock. Now I'm going to show you what you have to do to get your bolt out to clean your gun. All right. First of all, you find this screw right here on the back of the stock. And screw it all the way. Got to take it all the way out. All right. Pull this out here. And pull that spacer. This pops off. And that gives you just enough room to grab the button and pull your bolt out so you can clean your gun. Alright, so now I'm going to get to work on cleaning this gun. Alright, so one last little thing about this uh, Remington 700. Uh, stock. Uh, you can put the M locks on there. That's how I've got a sling on there. That's how I've got my bipod on there in this little slot. It does also come with some drilled, pre drilled holes right here for sling studs, swivel studs, if you'd rather do that route. Um, so, just some options there. The uh, instruction manuals actually say to drill the holes in and it has the depth in there and everything. So, make sure you uh, do that. Overall, I really like. This whole stock system um, right now probably giving it a nice little you know three out of five three and a half out of five I don't like the um, having to take the cheap piece out to get the bolt off and don't like the original butt pad it has to have an adapter it should kind of come that way but at least they have a solution they thought about that um, so I do think it solved my major problems with my ADL, which is 
the feeding issue you guys saw that it fed just fine and the grip issue with my uh, with the bolt hitting my thumb because the grip was so high on the grip angle on the uh, original stock so Magpul stock system definitely three and a half maybe 3.75 maybe even 3.9 stars out of five so it's um, definitely a, a good system I think if they do something about that cheek rest and put in a little groove on the cheek rest front here a little notch for the long action that uh, they'll definitely make it a better better thing I did open up my groups a little bit that's why I'm not saying you know over a four star uh, but that could have been me so we'll do some more shooting with it and get it down to some uh, smaller manageable groups and we'll see how that works all right y'all Chuck from Alaska Ballistics. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other channel, which is Bossed Custom Music Writing. I write classical music. All right, and we will see you at the range.